Let's bring in uh, in uh, Detroit, Michigan, Michael Jaffer. He's uh, with us and, and in studio here, Rachel Kaufman, both defense attorneys. And uh, Michael, the, this, you know, someone might think, well, this is an odd thing to take place. A lot of resources going into it to get Vandersloot. He's already serving time in Peru. Um, why bring him to Alabama to face these extortion charges? Your thoughts overall? <laughs> I mean, you know, the American uh, justice system, uh, you know, has a broad reach and obviously we want to get justice for the family. Based on the evidence that we, we're seeing, it's very compelling that he, he's pr probably guilty of at least extortion uh, of the family. Um, and so the reason to bring him here is very clear, right? You have to bring justice. You have no idea what's going to happen in Peru. Yes, he's in a terrible prison. That prison that he's in is actually legendary, right? Uh, there have been documentaries about that prison, but he could leave that prison and he only had 28 years for uh, pleading guilty to murdering somebody. So the the compelling reasons to bring him here are pretty pretty high. Um, they should bring him here. Uh, this guy seems like a villain. Um, he deserves American justice. Uh, and if he's found guilty uh, and if he maybe admits to killing Natalie Holloway, because you heard his attorney say that, you know, prisons here are five star hotels compared to the prison he's in. He might shock us. He might admit to it. He might plead guilty. He might want to be here for the rest of his life. But this guy's clearly a villain. Uh, him coming here to the United States, that makes sense. Um, the evidence is compelling enough to bring him here. Uh, and uh, I, I hope it happens. Yeah, well, it seems to be happening, and uh, we do expect him to arrive at some point this week. Right